Welcome to part 8, where we complete the assembly of the carriage and the XY belts for our Boron 2.4. To start, we need our hex wrench, our probe, our carriage parts, along with the heat insets and M3 by 30 screws. Start by inserting the M3 nuts. Uh, in my case, it was a very tight fit. They didn't slide in that easily. So here I'm using a much larger hex wrench to push these down or to place them properly. The two halves of the carriage are keyed to fit together in only one way. And then insert the M3 screws. Then we insert the heat sets. And then we attach the probe and we'll tighten using the M3 by 20 screws. For me, these screws were a tight fit, so I had to screw them in before putting the nut on the back with the heat sets. Next, we insert the pivot block with an M3 by 30 screw and nut. And again, for me, this nut was a really tight fit. I didn't make this really tight. I left it kind of loose because we'll want to work with the play in this once we mount it to the linear rail. And next, we insert the XY belts. Notice I'm using the hot end box here as a prop for the left side. Uh, it happens to fit pretty nicely. Um, you can use anything you like. Here we've got the M3 by 8 screws and the carriage and of course an Allen wrench. One thing to watch out for, uh, this diode is attached here on the wire and I just now noticed it. So you want to be careful that you don't damage that. It was pre-installed for us. And then we'll just fit the carriage on the blocks of the linear rail. Here I'm test fitting it and aligning everything. And, uh, and then I'll just bolt it in the M3 screws. So 
So I'm tightening the screws just enough so the carriage is mechanically attached with the screws, but I'm also leaving the screws loose because I want a little bit of play because I still have to fit the other carriage. And here's where I left the screws on the other side a little bit loose. As you can see, it took a little bit of effort to get the screw holes and the screws aligned properly. So you may have to fudge this just a little bit. I'm entering all four screws and I am tightening these on this side and then I'm about to go back and tighten the screws on the other side. Now the belts. I believe these are genuine Gates belts. Um, hopefully you can read the numbers or the product codes on the belt. The belt is a single long piece and so we need two. So we're going to have to cut this in half. And it seems to be really important that both sides are of the exact length. So I held the two ends together. I trimmed it. And here I am running my hands all the way across to the other end where it loops. And now I'm going to cut the end of this loop. So I have two evenly matched lengths of belt. So here I'm taking one half of the belt and I start stringing it through and I'm just using the guide, the manual for the Voron here to help me understand how this moves through. So I'm inserting the end in the carriage here and I'm gonna thread it through, pull it through. So later on uh, with the belt tightener, I can tighten these down. I'm using one of the um, pieces of plastic that I 3D printed. This is an actual part for the printer. I didn't really care what it was, but I'm using it as a guide. Um, I wanna make sure that when I run the other belt, I'm running it through, um, or at least pulling through, the exact same amount of belt on each side to make this as even as possible. Um, you can use anything you want to. Some people also um, count the teeth on the belt. I just chose to use this. Notice I'm threading these through all the lower pulleys. Um, remember the pulleys are stacked 
and I'll use the upper pulley for the other side. This will be pretty obvious to you um, as you run these starting with the front idler pulleys. It'll all make sense. And again, I'm simply using the manual, the Voron manual, as the guide. Um, it's got a really nice uh, image that shows you how these belts should be run. Here I'm making sure the belt is routed and sits correctly on the pulley that's attached to the motor. And it's not easy to see in the video, but the belt teeth should be uh, facing toward the carriage um, away from this rail right here. And again, make sure the belt is aligned on the pulleys properly. Um, the space for this is really kind of tight, so here I just used uh, an Allen wrench to help, but carefully help and then run it through the other side of the carriage, the slot that's there for the belt. Then I'll pull up most of the slack and then make sure you do both sides. And now just secure the belts. By the way, I had a lot of trouble with this. Um, <laughs> I ended up cutting a lot of video out. Um, I was not great at doing this. Um, there was some plastic, it turned out, stuck in the heat inserts that I had to clean out. I simply ran it through with another screw. I've also chosen not to trim these belts even though I've secured them. I'm going to wait until I actually install this in the rest of the printer and try to de-rack it first, but we'll see. That concludes this video. If you found it useful, please click subscribe and stay tuned for the next in the series. Thank you.